Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. Uh, this is Georg Chef from cgcave.com. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, the mirror and the boolean tools under editable spline. Now, first thing I want to do is, is to draw a rectangle. So let's create one. I'm going to hit T to go to the top view. And also I'm going to change the values to 200 by 100. Okay, length and width values. Also, let's uh, move this uh, rectangle to the origin. Okay, now if we add an edit spline on top of this, uh, or we, we could also convert this to an editable spline, as you know from before, let's uh, right click, go to convert to editable spline. I usually uh, prefer to add the modifier, by the way, uh, you can do that as well. It's a little bit, uh, if you are a little bit uh, more familiar with the subject, I recommend you to do uh, the same, just add the modifier on top. Okay, if we hit three, uh, this would take us to the spline sub-object mode. Uh, you can also see that uh, in here. Yeah, here. Uh, and if you hit three, uh, you can find the Boolean and the mirror tools in here. Now, uh, for Boolean, we need two uh, splines, two separate splines. So let's create one more spline and uh, attach this to this object and then try the Boolean tool. To do that, uh, I'm going to go to create circle and draw a new circle. Let's set the radius to 50. And I want to move this to the origin as well. Then you can just pull this in the X axis and move it here. You can also input some exact dimensions from here, but whatever for now, uh, we are just doing this for visualization purposes. Okay, now let's uh, select the original rectangle. I'm going to hit attach and click on this uh, circle so that they are joined into one object. We can also name this object one for now. And now uh, what we can do is we can hit three again, uh, select one of the splines, hit Boolean, and then select the other one. Uh, as you can see, this will join uh, all the splines together and get rid of the intersecting uh, segments. Uh, not necessarily segments, it could also trim the segment as well. Uh, let me show one more example uh, like that. I'm, I can add a new segment in here, for example, and I can just go ahead and attach this as well. Hit three, select the main uh, spline, hit Boolean and just click on this one again. Uh, sorry, uh, this one needs to be closed. So this is another case. It's very good uh, for us to see this as well. Let's close that first. We know how to close splines. We did the, that before. I'm going to hit one and just choose the connect tool from here and just close this one. Then hit three again and go to Boolean and just select this one again. Okay, they need to be closed so that um, the Max could understand the inner sides of the objects. Okay, so as you can see, it trimmed the spline and then welded these parts. And let's check if these are welded. I can tell that they are welded because we only have one uh, starting vertex in here, the uh, different colored vertex. Uh, we know this from before, but you, we can also check it. If I select this vertex and move it around, you can see that they are welded together. Or we could just see, uh, hit three, select this and read the information in here. Uh, it says closed, as you can see. So we know that this is a closed spline. Okay. Uh, now there are three different modes for boolean let's uh, try another object let's attach this one as well i'm going to hit three and select this and we can just uh, choose the subtract mode and this will as you can see subtract the uh, second or secondary object from the primary object okay if i hit ctrl z i can also try the intersection mode and which uh, will intersect the two objects. As you can see, we only get this shape in here, okay? So this is the Boolean tool. We can undo this again. And let's get rid of this one. Uh, for the mirror, we, don't, we won't need this. Uh, for the mirror tool, I wanna uh, make a short explanation that uh, this mirror and this mirror in here are quite different from each other. This mirror in here, uh, works for objects, okay? So this is an object itself uh, called object one. We just named this, right? So if I select this and hit this, it will mirror the whole object, okay? But this mirror in here, 
only works for splines so it will only mirror the spline as you can see let's uh, I, i'm going to try to explain this in a different way i'm going to attach one more rectangle to the main object now if i mirror the object as you can see the whole object will be mirrored okay we can also choose x size from here in the x i can uh, mirror this in the x axis in the y axis in the z axis of course z axis won't make any difference because it's trying to uh, mirror the object through the screen so it won't work we are only seeing a 2d representation right now uh, but you, we can also choose these uh, options which are uh, x and y uh, y and z and z and x okay let's leave it uh, in the x for now we can we could add an offset uh, in here we know this uh, tool actually and we could create copies right so this is the original mirror tool so if i go back in here hit three and select this one what we can do here is we can only mirror this spline in here so if i just hit mirror as you can see it mirrored only this spline that is selected okay so let's undo this we can also mirror in the um, vertical axis and also we can mirror them in the both axis like x and y axis let's try this as you can see it created a um, line in here through here and then it mirrored it around that so let's undo this as well uh, what we can select is also uh, the copy option we can select the copy option and hit mirror this will create a copy of the original spline or we can just choose about pivot which will mirror the object uh, uh, using the pivot point of the uh, mirror the spline sorry using the pivot point of the object okay so if i hit mirror uh, it will uh, it knows that the um, center point or the pivot point of the object is in the origin so it mirrored it around that origin point uh, zero and zero point uh, i'll hit again so you can see that the rectangle doesn't really change its position i don't know how important this is but uh, <laughs> we have an option like that okay so these are the uh, two more tools uh, in the edit spline so we are uh, going through these tools uh, pretty quickly so that we can just do some real examples i uh, hope you are not uh, bored by this but let's hang on and we can we will be uh, able to do much more complex examples after these um, theoretical lessons Thanks for listening. Uh, hope it was useful for you. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And also you can join to our channel. And uh, thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.